Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for the support. Please like, comment, subscribe. Today I am going to be showing you how I painted this geometric shape on my wall. Let's get to it. One, two, three, come on! Okay, so I want to put a geometric shape on my wall and paint it and I'm going to use my laser level but I wanted to show you guys who may not have one a simple method that you can use to accomplish the same effect and all you need is a straight edge I've got my little square your tape measure and your painters tape and a pencil so the first thing you want to do is measure from the wall where you want to put your line. I am going to do a vertical line and so I want my line to be 18 inches from the wall from the corner. So I'm going to mark a line at 18 inches and then I am going to go down a little bit further and mark another line at 18 inches. It would also be smart to have a level so that you can make sure your line is straight in case your walls aren't quite square, which my house is newer, so I'm not too concerned about it. And I'm going to use my laser level, but if you have an older home and your walls aren't square, you're definitely going to want to use a level to make sure that your line is straight. I can take my straight edge and I can line up those two lines. Mark a line with my pencil. Take my blue tape, line it up with that line. And voila, I have started my geometric shape. Just like that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use my laser level right now just because it's gonna be a lot quicker and uh, more accurate but this is definitely a cheaper easier version of accomplishing the same effect if you wanted to do that so the geometric shape that I decided to put on my wall is a big green arrow if you're interested in the color it is Sherwin Williams palm leaf and for the arrow part, what I did was I measured the distance of my rectangle and then split that, divide it by two, and I made my point, and then I simply connected the point to the two edges of my rectangle, and that gave me the arrow. All right, so I've got all my lines up now, and it's time to paint, but if you are looking for that really crisp line look, then there's a couple tricks that you can do. Um, the one that I do, and this all depends on how textured your wall is. My wall is a light orange pill, it's not very textured. But make sure that your blue tape is pressed and sealed tightly to the wall. What I'm going to use is Mod Podge. It's a matte, it dries clear, and it basically will seal the blue tape. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that and you're gonna go along all the edges of your blue tape like that. And it's gonna provide a seal for, so that when you put your regular paint on, you'll be able to pull the tape off and it'll have a nice crisp line. So let's go ahead and do that. And now that the prepping is done, we can enlist some help to go ahead and paint our wall. Again, I always recommend at least two coats of paint. And once they were all painted, you'll be able to see how crisp these lines really are as I pull off this tape. Check it out. Oh yeah, that's nice. Look at that clean line.
Here is the shape all done. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. It's really just a simple way to add a little extra wow factor to any room. Again, I appreciate all the support and we'll see you next time.